Hi everyone, welcome to New York City. Many stars here. I'm next to the greatest in tennis, Roger Federer. Tennis night in America. You've had a good time here once before with Pete Sampras, which went the distance. Now Andy Roddick. How do you feel playing against one of your good friends? Um, really excited, obviously, just to be in New York uh, in the first place. And then playing Andy, who I've had a, a great and long rivalry with. Uh, we've played, I think, over 20 times in our careers. and. Uh, I've always had great matches and you know great respect for him, so it's nice to do it here at the Garden this time again. It's been already five years since that great match with Pete, and when it's all started here with the exhibitions and tennis coming back at a different time of the year than the Flushing Meadows. So I'm really excited being back and playing against Andy, who's a good friend of mine. It's, it's a lot of fun. And you're an honorary New Yorker after winning all these U.S. Opens. <laughs> How do you compare playing in the Garden to any other facility in the world? Oh, it's very different, you know. Obviously, it's a, it's a one-off match. It's not a tournament, so you kind of come in and it's everything's. Um, you know, into this one particular match and, and into this couple of hours that it's happening. So it's a, it's a different energy, a different atmosphere. Um, I loved every minute of it. That's why I really wanted to come back, you know, before it was all over for me in my career. I mean, obviously, I saw they also have seniors here, so hopefully down the road maybe I can come back as, a, as an old guy too. But uh, it's nice enjoying the garden atmosphere because uh, it's something in Europe, let's say, you only hear about, you know, the Knicks and, uh, you know, all that stuff that surrounds the garden, all the greats who have fought there, played there, musicians and so forth, so it's nice to be part of uh, such an amazing history. Roger, you're playing great tennis, you just beat Andy Murray winning in Dubai, how do you feel right now? I feel actually really good considering I've played so much tennis already this February because we had a tough loss in Davis Cup and then I was able to win Rotterdam and Dubai, so I'm in a, on a good roll right now, uh, try to maintain that, now have some fun here at the Garden before we go to Indian Wells in Miami. What are your goals for the rest of the year? Um, Look, uh, first, stay injury free. I, I got to get through these tournaments before I take a bit of a breather and the vacation. And then we have a, a tough schedule ahead of us with the French Open coming around Wimbledon, the Olympic Games at Wimbledon in London for us, and then the US Open. So this is where most of the points are going to be, you know, given out and distributed. And this is where I hopefully can make a run for world number one. So we'll see how it goes, but a lot of highlights coming our way. Well, Roger Federer, thank you so much for joining us with the legend Roger Federer in New York with Tennis Night in America.